So I've opened this language chooser directory in my text editor. So now we can go ahead and start to create the views that will contain the form and the translation. So let's go over to app and let's go over to views and we'll delete this uh, test view that we can see in our browser here. That will just get rid of that. So now this should error. Perfect. I'm just going to go over to app, config and app and I'm going to go ahead and turn debug on just so we get the actual stack trace errors like this. So now let's go ahead and create a new view. So under views, let's go ahead and create a new file. And we're going to save this as home.blade.php and hit save. And we'll just go ahead and type hello in here for now. So under roots, let's go ahead and we will change this to make the view home rather than actually making the view hello. And now when we refresh, we see that we've got this view rendered here. Let's now go ahead and look at creating some translations so we can actually output hello as a translation here rather than actually outputting just this hard coded hello. So under um, language and then under en, we're going to go ahead and create a new file and we're going to call this greetings.php. And we'll also go ahead and create a new uh, folder inside of Lang and call it DE for German. And within this, we'll go ahead and create a new file and also call this greetings. So within here, we want to go ahead and obviously open PHP tags. We're going to return an array. This is just how we create localized um, text basically in Laravel. And I'm going to say hello here. So in German, this is going to be hello rather than hello. And in English, this is going to be, if we just go ahead and copy and paste this, hello. So we've now got the translation files set up. So inside of home.blade.php, we can go ahead and create our curly braces because we're using the blade templating engine. And we can go and use the, use the trans uh, helper function to translate this. So we're going to say greetings dot hello. So depending on which locale is set, this should output the specific uh, one we choose. In this case, we've got uh, en set to default. So if we look under config and app, you can see that if we scroll down, we've got the locale as default set to en. We've also got the fallback locale set to en, which is really important because uh, later on in the application, when we go ahead and choose a language, if we choose the wrong one, this is going to go ahead and fall back to EN if it can't be found. So if a user tries to fiddle our form to provide a locale that hasn't been set, we can go ahead and just fall back to EN. So now we've done this, let's go ahead and just define the rest of our page. So we'll go ahead and create a doc type, HTML tags, a head, a body. We'll change the char set to UTF-8. We'll go ahead and stick a title in here. Okay, so inside of the body now, we want to obviously contain this text. Let's do that within a paragraph tag, just so it stays out of the way of the form we're going to go ahead and create in a minute. And let's now create our form. So the form is obviously just going to be a form element. I'm not using Laravel's helper uh, to allow to sort of build this form up. I'm just hard coding it in, this is just purely preference. You can go ahead and obviously uh, use the helper functionality if you want. So I'm going to choose the method as post. And within here, let's go ahead and create this select element. And within this, let's give a couple of options. And we'll obviously make this a bit more dynamic later on when we get to choose the locale uh, that we want. Sorry, option, option. So the first one is going to be English. That's going to be a value of EN and the display value is going to be English. We'll go ahead and duplicate this down and this time we'll choose German and we'll add the locale here. So we need to give this a name obviously because it has to have a name for it to be able to be, to be, able to be picked up. And we also want to go ahead and include a submit button here. We'll give this a value of choose. Let's go ahead and preview this and then we'll go ahead and fill in what, everything else that we need to do. So we've got the drop down here with English and German. At the moment this does nothing. It submits through to the same page that we're on but because there's no post route set up then this isn't going to work. 
Let's go over to our roots file now and define a new root. And what this root is going to do is it's going to allow us to post some data to the forward slash language page. Let's go ahead and just define that now then. So we're going to say root post and we want this to go to forward slash language as I just said. And we'll then pass an array in here and give this some uh, different properties. So what we need to do is be really careful that we don't allow cross-site request forgery to take place here because if it does, it could potentially mean that someone can change someone else's language. So we want to pro provide cross-site request uh, forgery protection on this form. So before this request is submitted, we want to go ahead and check the cross-site request forgery token. That requires that we update this a little bit. So let's go down here and use the form helper to generate a token. Now, what that's going to have done is if we just inspect this, that will add a token just here. When we hit choose, that will go through and the token will be checked. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and define what else. We're going to choose a alias for this root. In this case, I'm going to call it language hyphen chooser. And we also want to define which uh, controller this uses. We're going to set up a controller here. So we're going to say this uses the language controller, which we haven't set up yet. We'll go ahead and set that up in a moment. And the method in here is going to be chooser. So under controllers, we want to create a new file. So we want this to be a class of language controller, and we want that to extend the base controller. Let's go ahead and save this as language controller.php. And let's go ahead and define this method. So public function chooser. Remember, we called this method here, so we're passing this data through to this controller. Now here, we're going to set the locale based on the locale that's been passed through from the form. But we're not actually passing anything through to this page yet because we've not defined the action for our form. Let's just echo out input get locale. So now we can go ahead and update the action here. So I'm going to say this is a URL to the root. And remember, we gave an alias to our root, which was language hyphen chooser. So we say language chooser. And remember, we're sending this with a method of post. That's why we chose the root as a post root here. Now what's going to happen then is when we submit this, that will go through to here. Let's just go and check the home.play.php. OK, so that needs to be locale rather than language. So now when we hit choose, you can see that we get EN and then for German, we get DE. So what we can do now is actually set the session based on this. So we'll go ahead and leave this in here and we'll just put that down a couple of lines and we'll say session set locale and we'll now choose this input. So now what we can do is we can return redirect back and that will just ensure that we're redirected back to whatever page the user came from when they submitted this form. So let's go ahead and do this now. I'm going to go ahead and hit German and click choose. So nothing's actually happened because what we're not doing is somewhere in our application we need to go ahead and use the set locale method on the lang model. So we do that under filters and before. So before any request to our application we want to say lang set locale session get remember we've already set the session of locale based on that option and that will go ahead and set the locale now if this line runs but a locale hasn't been set in a session that doesn't matter because we have a fallback locale which is en now when i refresh you notice that that's changed to hello rather than hello because we've chosen the um, de locale if i choose english again you see that changes back to hello so what we need to do now is change this form so that whichever locale we're on, it sticks to it. We know that English is the default, so we don't need to include anything here. But in home.blade.php, let's create a conditional statement here. So we're going to say if lang locale is de, we go ahead and set this to selected. Otherwise, we set this to nothing. And we've added a space here, so the space comes after this. When I refresh, 
This is set to English. When I hit German in Choose, you can see that stays on German. And if we inspect this, you can see that that says selected. And the last thing we want to quickly do is check that our cross-site request forgery protection works. Let's go ahead and refresh the page, change this token. When we hit choose, this shouldn't match and we should generate a token mismatch exception, which we have. And that's it. We built a language chooser with Laravel.